So here I am about my e-bike conversion, finally after so long, so let's get to it. Welcome to the Fat Man 56 channel. This is my bike. We will call it the Koof Bike, because I purchased it in April or May of 2020, when the Koof was in full swing. This bike wasn't even put together. When I bought it from Walmart, it was a, a size 26-inch men's tires. I'm like, cool, and they gave it to me in a box, and I had to bring it home and put it together still. It was pretty easy. All I had to do was put on the handlebars, really, in the seat. But then I upgraded the seat for 20 bucks. Got running lights on the back, and a place to mount it on the front for another 20 bucks. Basket, 20 bucks. Everything you buy at Walmart is 20 bucks. Well, it's becoming harder to ride, probably because I'm I'm old and I'm fat and I don't have the steam like I used to. So I bought a bike upgrade kit. Now let's explore that in a minute. So this particular kit came with a bag, a wheel with a actual tire on there already because I looked for my size, which is 26 by 1.75. So, yeah, a really unique tire compared to other bikes I've had. So I bought it with the tire and thing and everything. It would cost like $208. Here's all the instructions and hardware. I don't have all the tools I need because of, like, the sensor here. I have no parts to take, or no tools to take apart this from the pedal on the bike itself. So... Do I really need a pedal assist right now? Or could I just put it together and use it? Let's find out. It's got the speed controller, the grips, handbrakes with wires so that it tells this box when I'm pulling the hat the brakes. And there's some other crap. A throttle control here. So yeah. Let's see if I can convert my Koof bike into a real or a real e-bike for the cheap. So, okay, we run into a big snag here. I am out of my element. Now, got the new hand brakes with the special wire that will lead to the controller. And when I grab it, the controller says, Oh my god, he's grabbing the thing! But as you can see with this side here, these stupid gears are so freaking big and huge and it's like and it's like I mean so freaking huge and this one here doesn't I mean they're just taking up way too much room on the handlebars it's like if I was to put this on here for gear shifting and then I put on the throttle yeah look at that size and I put on the throttle for it. The throttle, the bar, handlebars end up right about here. So this is hanging loose. Plus, if I'm going along and I need to break, grab my brakes, I'm grabbing the very, very last little bit of handle here. Whereas I should be grabbing it like this. So yeah, I'm going to have to take this to a bike shop and replace the stupid gear shifters. So, let's see if I can find someone willing to help me. Because it seems like most bike shops these days are like, Oh my god, that's an e-bike. Get it out of my store. It's disgusting. And get it out of here. So, whatever. So, we're going to have to postpone this for a few days. Until I get this back from the shop. I screwed it all up. And I had to take to get new shifters, which I got. Woohoo. And new brakes. And the guy, even, so I'm really happy about how my bike conversion is coming, but the guy even mounted the uh, pedal assist thing for me. So, woohoo. It just ended up costing me about 140 something bucks. So, let's see, the bike was $89. The kit was 215 uh, That's about 300 Plus, fixing her back up after I screwed it up cost about 140 <laughs> But hey, shout out to the guys at the Bike Hub. They did a really good job. Come on. So if you have to travel to the big city and get a bike, 
and I would recommend these guys. They're nice, they're sweet, I really enjoyed them, and hashtag not sponsored. So let's get back to the conversion. we got to finish rigging all this stuff. Here's the electronics. Here's, uh, this is a tray for the back of the bike to mount right about here. So I can take my battery packs, which is, I'm using the Makita 5.0 battery packs. I've got four of them here. And because they're 18 volts each, so to make for the 36 volts required, I need to hook two of these together in series. And it looks something like this. See, the got a black one, black one, and a red one, and a red one, and they're hooked together like this, putting them in series so they'll both work at the same time. Woohoo! Because this thing needs 36 volts to power it. It's a 500 watt motor. See, 36 volt, 500. So we're going to have to hook this up with the instructions and this stuff. And it's going to be a wild adventure. At least we're going to have fun. I'm going to have fun with it. Hope you enjoy it too. So this bike rack comes from West. And <laughs> bike backup setup video. Bike rack setup video. <laughs> it comes with the sandwich mount on the mount on the bike. The two. There's all these parts here with tools. See the Allen wrenches and such down there? With tools to help easily put this together. And a bunch more other hardware, including a um, reflector. But we're going to switch out with a light because I like to ride at night. So, yeah, we're just going to get to this now. This is going to be fun. I'll check back after I've gotten somewhere down the line. Well, things are going along quite swimmingly here. I have to unwrap these wires. And unwrap these wires. And these wires and hook it up to this box. But for the first step in my little adventure is mount the tray that the batteries are going to rest on. So it's in place. It feels pretty good. It's got all this hardware in here. Take weight off of it. This thing can apparently hold about 110 pounds. So that'll be more than enough weight for my battery pack. And I don't have to worry. It just mounts on the bike, so I don't have to worry. I have to mount this one a little higher to... I didn't want it to interfere with the chain at all. So, step two, start hooking up the electronics. Woohoo! So, another thing I've run into. I have two of these little yellow boxes. Here's what it looks like when it's open. It's basically green to green, yellow to yellow, blue to blue. And it's all going to fit in that little baggie somehow. Uh, but everything's getting all hooked up. And pretty soon I'll be able to hook up the batteries. But I wanted to show these boxes before I moved on. It's coming along quite nicely. Hopefully I'll have an e-bike real soon. Well, so far we've gotten it all done. I've hooked up the electronics and managed to get it stuffed into this baggie here. Now all I have left to do is hook up the... Battery packs. That's where things are going to get interesting. And hook on my um, bags to hold the battery packs. Like I said, it's going to get interesting. So, thank you for watching so far. Then we'll see if I can explode this thing or not. Okay. That was exciting. It worked! I only have one hand. I'll have to work on this later. Along with some stuff from being outside. But it worked. See? It worked. So, my bike has <laughs> a speed of 20 miles an hour. And the 5.0 batteries last about 5 miles. So, yeah, the bike is awesome. Thank you for watching. And have a good day. So here I am about my e-bike conversion, finally after so long, so let's get to it.